You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Weird Science Comics YouTube channel, where I'm going to review Harley Quinn number 28 by Teeny Howard and art by Sweeney Boo. Now, Teeny Howard is taking over Harley Quinn with this issue, which for some reason is being listed as a Dawn of DC book. And while that should mean something, I guess, it really doesn't by the end. Teeny takes over the book from Stephanie Phillips, who I thought started out the run pretty strong despite the Riley Rossimo art. But after crossing over with the Fear State event, the book took a dive in quality and sales, and it was time for a change. But as I've been told often, change isn't always good. Now, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. Like the video, enable the notifications. Let me know what you think of Harley Quinn number 28 in the comments below. So here we go. Harley is a crazy character to write because she's she's crazy. But she's also smart. She's also done some bad things in the past. She's had some sus relationships. She's also lately been a hero, according to DC. What I'm saying is that you never know what Harley you're going to get. So going into this issue, I wanted to see which Harley would show up. And if overall, I think that Teeny Howard gets the character. I'll answer the second part here. Do I think Teeny gets the character? Not really. It feels like she watched half an episode of the Harley cartoon and just went from there. And the troubles start right away. The issue opens with Harley in a prank war with Two-Face. Now that seems like it could be some fun, right? But the lead-up happens off-panel before the issue begins. You just go in here and the prank war is on. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad if this was a new number one, but it feels odd here. Why is she in this prank war and how did she get from the last issue to here and really your guess is as good as mine teeny howard too is leaning so hard on the wacky over-the-top harley quinn that by the end nothing really feels like it matters and that's the thing in my opinion there's a fine line to writing characters like harley or deadpool because without at least a smidgen of reality you end up with a book that just feels like a random bunch of skits in a robot chicken episode where zany things happen or are quickly forgotten for the next zany thing to then get forgotten for the next zany thing. And I don't think Teeny Howard realizes this as we really go from goofy scene to goofy scene. Now, whether or not you like the character of Kevin, Stephanie Phillips used that character to ground Harley and the book. That was the way to make it kind of matter a bit. Kevin was always there to kind of tell Harley, oh, you shouldn't have been doing that. He was there to have some problems of his own that Harley would then help out with. But here, Kevin shows up and is just kind of a prop. Doesn't feel like Teeny Howard knows the character and just uses him as a plot device. Early on, he mentions community college. And guess what? After being arrested, Harley's sentenced to teach at community college. It is so forced. But that could lead to something good down the line, seeing Harley teaching at a college. But Teeny starts it out with just a boring bunch of exposition that I think is supposed to be maybe a joke or social commentary, and then interrupts it with Two-Face driving his car right into the classroom full of kids. Zany, right? Of course, the fight is on. Harley fighting Two-Face is pretty standard until Harley pulls a glowing fish out of nowhere. And knocks out Two-Face. Zany, right? When the police arrive, they tell Harley that they can't arrest Two-Face because he's got kick-ass lawyers and he's let go. Zany, right? This is, this is what I mean. Nothing matters. And it gets worse. We find out that Harley grabbed that glowing fish from the multiverse? And then Lady Quark comes to retrieve it? She tells Harley she has put the multiverse in danger. A multiversal Earth and a hero on a planet was going to use that fish. Yeah, Harley grabbed the fish and now everything's out of whack. So what are they going to do about that? Well, Lady Quark just tells Harley not to do it again and leaves. And, and do it again? Really, I don't even know how the hell she did it in the first place and why. Why did she do it? It was nonsense. Now, all in all, Sweeney Boo's art is really good throughout the issue. 
but you would think that Teeny Howard would be putting her best foot forward here. And if that's the case, Harley fans are doomed. The book is a scattered mess that swipes from scene to scene with little care and no ramifications or stakes. And by the way, there is a backup, which seems to be there only to add a dollar to the cover price, which will be another reason this book will eventually fail. I'm giving Harley Quinn number 28, Teeny Howard's debut on the book, a 4.5 out of 10. But let me let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you think of this. Maybe you like it more, maybe even like it less. Let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.